The Grammy Awards and Sundance Film Festival are the latest in-person events to be affected by the COVID-19 Omicron variant. A statement published on behalf of the Recording Academy and CBS on Wednesday revealed that the 64th annual awards ceremony would be postponed out of an abundance of caution. Meanwhile, Sundance has made the difficult decision to make this year's festival completely virtual due to surging coronavirus cases. After careful consideration and analysis with city and state officials, health and safety experts, the artist community and our many partners, the Recording Academy and CBS have postponed the 64th annual Grammy Awards show, reads the official postponement announcement. The ceremony, which announced nominations in November, was originally scheduled to be an in-person event on Monday, January 31st. The statement continued, the health and safety of those in our music community, the live audience and the hundreds of people who work tirelessly to produce our show remains our top priority. Given the uncertainty surrounding the Omicron variant, holding the show on January 31st simply contains too many risks. We look forward to celebrating music's biggest night on a future date, which will be announced soon. The Sundance Film Festival was originally slated to be an in-person event that spanned 11 days from January 20th to January 30th. There were also a number of strict protocols implemented, including proof of vaccination, the elimination of concession stands, reduced screen capacities, the testing of event staff, etc. Despite their best efforts and most ambitious protocols, Sundance announced that the Omicron variant's unexpectedly high transmissibility rates is pushing the limits of health safety, travel and other infrastructures across the country. The decision to go virtual was branded as a difficult one but one that was made based on knowledge that coronavirus cases are expected to peak in the festival's host city of Park City, Utah during the originally scheduled festival week. This was a difficult decision to make. As a non-profit, our Sundance spirit is in making something work against the odds. Sundance rely on the annual film festival as their primary fundraiser. But with case numbers forecasted to peak in our host community the week of the festival we cannot knowingly put our staff and community at risk, the statement explained. The undue stress to Summit County's health services and our more than 1,500 staff and volunteers would be irresponsible in this climate. It has become increasingly clear over the last few days that this is the right decision to make for the care and well-being of all of our community. Though it is a deep loss to not have the in-person experience in Utah, we do not believe it is safe nor feasible to gather thousands of artists, audiences, employees, volunteers, and partners from around the world, for an 11-day festival while overwhelmed communities are already struggling to provide essential services. Being that last year's online version of the festival proved easy to navigate and a general success for Sundance, the nonprofit is confident that the experience will, once again, capture the magic and energy of the festival. While we're disappointed to not provide the full hybrid experience and gather in person as intended, audiences this year will still experience the magic and energy of our festival with bold new films and XR work the discovery of new storytellers, direct encounters with artists, and an innovative globally accessible social platform and gallery space. Our partner community will also be adding a vibrant dimension to the festival with a rich mix of conversation, talent talks and events, 